Welcome to Flyover Conservative Podcast with David and Stacey Whited, where we break down current events and examine culture through the lens of conservative Christian values. Hello, Flyover family. It is Friday, and today's show is called Freaky Friday. This is our 15th show for week. the week. 15 shows this week. Dang, kind of big, dude. Kind of High big five. Deal. High five to you all. Thank you all for all of your support. We've had some incredible interviews. Just broke 100,000 on the Apple iTunes whoop, podcast. Whoop. High so, five to the producer, right? Yeah, high five to high the producer. Five producer. Um, high five to graphics. You guys all rock. There's lots of stuff going on. I mean, look at everything that happens in this production. We have, you know, Telegram graphics. There's Instagram graphics. If all you guys did was follow us on Instagram, it's worth it. Some of the best memes are uh, our, our Instagram guru is our uh, daughter, and uh, she's become quite the snarky little jab meister, the feisty. I'm like, I'm like, feisty. She's got red hair. We're this sweet little redheaded, you know, innocent, innocent little dove. Where did where did she go? Now now we got like, you know, uh, like a little miniature Wendy Rogers running our <laughs> yeah, Instagram, you know, true. account. Just just. Snarky. If you don't know Wendy Rogers, you got to check her out on Twitter. Hey Nancy, welcome. Good job, Colton. I had to put that one up there, of course. Yeah, absolutely. For those of you making comments. I saw JB on here earlier. Lisa's on here from upstate New York. Welcome, y'all. Little MAGA Boston action. If, if you got to say the right things, if you want Colton to put you on the screen, for sure. <laughs> Colton is the. And if you drop my name, I'm not above pu- putting those in there, for sure. for sure. That's you, you, for sure. You, you can be like Colton, 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 and then put like whatever question you want, and I guarantee that'll go up on the, on the, on the If screen. somebody's putting the Col- co- comments, Colton's awesome, it probably would make it on the screen. It's going to make it on the screen. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Well, it's Friday, guys. Hope you're listening to this on your way home or whatever you're doing. Uh, Colton's the best. There we go. <laughs> that came from Avery. Uh, uh, <laughs> I tell you what, the, the theme for today is we're going to talk about some stuff. Uh, nothing will be as dark as as uh, Whoa, some of the ones man, we've this done. This week there was some rough ones that Woo! we've done this week, but th- but there's there's some challenging. I think times. I sweat through two pair of underwear. Yeah, there's challenging <laughs> things going on, but it's also there are more people active yes. showing up, making things happen than ever before. We had a guy on this week named Martin Hyde. I think his show came out. Yesterday, 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 yesterday. Yeah, from Sarasota, Florida, running you know, from for senator. You think like, well, in a, in a red state like Florida, it's a free state. Everybody's escaping, you know, the the, the communist, you know, Republic of, of California to get there, and, and New York, and they're trying to get to, to Florida. You know, the same evil, the same darkness has to be pushed back there. He's 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 a tech guy. He yep. owns a tech company. He had a kid in school though, and he, he went to one of the school boards, and he's like, these guys are awful. Yep. These guys are are terrible. Oh my gosh. And if you board. have not seen the video, you've got to watch our video this week with Martin Hyde because he was amazing at the school board meetings. Three of them we showed. And it's last one, he was like, That's your third strike. That's what he was telling the school board. Well they it told was, they told him, That's your third strike, Mr. Hyde. No, you know, they didn't actually say that. They said well, you've got a strike here or something you like a that. Strike he goes, he's like, he goes, That's your no, third that's strike. That's your third strike. And it's like, oh, you know, he, he kind of, and he has this, uh, I don't know, maybe British accent. Yeah. And so he's just it sounds like, really cool. Yeah. It almost sounds like everything he says is by a professional narrator. <laughs> um, and he's just a cool dude, but he's just a regular guy, tech guy, you know, owned a small tech company. And he's like, all right, I'm going to step up, start going to the school boards. And then decide I'm going to run for Senate because this is messed up here. Now even, he's got two wrapped buses, man. Even though I'm in Florida, it's, it's red state. There's a lot of, of darkness, communist, Marxist ideas, especially in the school system, pushing back. So, so I, my reason I bring that up is, is that we see this theme every day. We're interviewing people. We're doing shows. Mm-hmm. I mean, even even us, we had this nice cushy life. Nobody was sending us emails with 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 mean things Hate and all this. Stuff you know, it. Uh, every, it was just all love. And, and but people got to step forward and say, you know what? Hey, I'm going to tell better stories. I'm going to go to my school board. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to do you know yep. these things that 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 you see the gap. And there's more courageous Americans there than are. ever before. There are so many courageous so Americans waking up, speaking up, and showing up, stepping forward. People that have answers. People like Dr. Sherwood who are sh- saving lives. Dr. Sherwood TV forward slash nine thousand patients plus now and lost zero. We did an amazing interview. If you guys haven't seen that today, we actually did it live right before this show with Dr. Sherwood. It was hey, so good. Of course, Sherwood. Hey, Mary, so glad you're on. And um, and we actually had somebody on there that 
he was part of saving her life. We really believe that. And she said it today with tears. You know, she really does feel like she had COVID and the hospital sent her home. So there's nothing that we could do for you. Even though she had COVID pneumonia, they did nothing for her. And then Dr. Sherwood stepped in and she's doing amazing. She had tears. She's like, you saved my life. Yeah. And I, I think that he did. So tomorrow morning, we're having another episode come out with a, with a guy named Dr. Artis. If, if you want to know exactly how the hospital protocol goes, what they're giving people in the process. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's a doctor who had his father-in-law pass away under the, the, hospital the, under the Fauci COVID protocol. And um, they awoke a sleeping giant. They did. The guy declared war on that system. And mm -hmm. you need to catch, it's going to be available tomorrow morning at seven o'clock central. It's coming out. You're going to want to share that with anybody, anybody that you know, everybody. love, and care about. I think it's probably the most important one we've done. Oh, it, 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 it's probably going to mm -hmm. save the most lives of anything that we've ever been a part mm -hmm. of so far. So that comes out tomorrow morning at 7. So I, I just look like he, he wasn't doing what he was doing, you know, before. Dr. Sherwood is now running for governor of Oklahoma. Yep. He was he, he was a steward of 9,000 people, lost zero patients, and God said, okay. I'm going to give you the whole state. Dr. Mark Sherwood, let's put you over the state of Oklahoma. So now he's running for governor. Uh, be, you know, be looking on all of our social media. We'll be sharing his ads out. You can watch the show that we did mm -hmm. just before. We play a play his his his, his ad announcement. announcement. Video. He's running for governor. So he's, he's running for governor. He got this Martin Hyde in, in Florida running, running, for senator. running for Senate. You have Rachel Ham in California running for Secretary of State. She's absolutely amazing. I mean, like Christina Caramo up in Michigan. Christina Caramo. Christina Caramo in Michigan. Yeah. It's just exciting to hear what people are doing. Pe uh, believers are stepping forward. Yes. And they're like, all right, you know, I've been sent back. I'm not going to set back any longer. I'm going to let my voice be heard and God use me wherever you can use me. And this is truly an exciting time to be alive. So as you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner, my pillow is our sponsor for today's show. So we are so thankful for Mike Lindell and everything that he is yep. doing to try to save our country. He has put so much money, reputation, all of that into trying to save our country. And we are supporting him and we would appreciate your support. You just go to uh, mypillow.com, use the promo code flyover and get up to 66% off on your sheets, on your slippers, on your pillows. Uh, they even have clothes. I had no idea. They have clothes. Yep. Uh, they have uh, kids' pillows, which are really cool with Bible stories on them. Just all kinds of cool stuff. So check it out, mypillow.com. Use the promo code FLYOVER for up to 66% it's, off. It's Friday. I mean, should we should we go ahead and just and play the jingle? Oh, I mean, we, we got yeah, we to we do it. We kind of got away from the jingle, but let's, let's bring it back for Freaky Friday here. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world is it? MyPillow.com Promo code FLYOVER. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I love that part. But when you do put in promo code FLYOVER, you get you get a massive discount. You see yeah. it right there pop on. It's like, bam. Uh, it is cool. You know, it's not too early to be doing Christmas shopping. Mm. Yep. Mike Lindell is truly funding every effort there is for saving our country right now when it comes to audits, when it comes to, uh, I mean, pretty much anybody that's doing something, they're calling up Mike Lindell and he's like, well, what can I, he's like, well, I got to do to help you. Let's do it. We're yeah. trying to save America. All right. Um, you know, his, that's pretty good. He, thank you. He has a plane. He has his picture. You've been screaming at a wall since you were two <laughs> I know, he and you can channel your, your inner Mike Lindell, but he's, he's stepping up to save America, you know? And so he needs your help. And yep. so part of it is, you know, buy products from people that are that are not crazy, mm -hmm. that 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 love America. And, you know, they're taking their proceeds and putting it towards saving our America. You know, there's plenty of, of George Soros and people out there that have created these massive fortunes. And they've dedicated it towards, you know, buying Destroying off and it. putting people in a, as a district attorney and, mm -hmm. and, and AGs in different states that are help. They're, they're trying to bring down our country. So this is how we fight back. So anyway, MyPillow.com forward slash get a promo code flyover promo that's what code we do. flyover are right. you ready this is our tgif uh 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 not tgif what do they call it pardon the interruption pti pardon the our, interruption our show P pti uh throwback here we get three points we're doing this every day at five o'clock five three minutes points. each five, one with, with with a with a little extended opening today because it's friday and we're just like delirious <laughs> We've, we have talked too much, studied too much. You figure 15 episodes, every episode we do, we research and study and learn and, 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 and all these guests and learn about their lives and everything else. So. And Colton, our producer, he's got to take it then after he watches the whole thing. Then he's got to go in and he's got to break it up and move it around and take this part that's really cool and put it at the beginning and get rid of any mistake that we yep. made. And he's just, he's <laughs> awesome. I saw 3 a.m. twice this week and not from the front end. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So a lot of work goes in this. We appreciate you guys locking arms with us. We really feel like we're saving America together with you yes. guys. Um, telling 
great stories yep. bringing attention to the Martin Hydes and the Dr. Artist tomorrow morning and Dr. Sherwood and these people that that have answers. They have solutions. I tell you, this is, this is kind of a dark season, but there are so many people that are partnering great with God to bring on. hope. I got, I got a text message from a guy I went to high school with named Adam. And he texted me a little bit ago about one of our episodes. I'm like, man, I can't believe he's watching. We did our, our uh, Kirk Elliott with our gold and silver yeah. uh, uh, combination. Yep. Uh, uh, Kirk Elliott PhD. We've known for 26 years. And now he's helping our flyover family to get gold and silver. He's got a PhD in it. Yeah. So, you he know. Goes, he goes, man, that Kirk Elliott is a, he goes, Kirk Elliott's a stud. And I said, <laughs> he yeah, he has, guy has, has two PhDs. He can help you with your gold and your silver. But like that guy, he's, he's focused on being a patriot and saving America. And that's when he talked offline. He goes, hey, whatever we can do to help people save yep. from this crazy inflation that has been kicked in by this administration. Every day, your dollar is being I mean, it's worth mm-hmm. less than it was before. You see it every time you go to the store, you're buying gas, you're buying hamburger, you're buying everything. So Kirk Elliott, phd.com forward slash flyover. So Adam texts me, he goes, man, Kirk Elliott's a stud. And I'm like, man, I mean, I took 25 years ago or more. I don't know, longer than that. 26, we've known. 30 more. years. How long ago did I go to high school? Oh, yeah, 30 years ago. 30 years ago <laughs> in high school. So it's like watching this episode, but Adam's a patriot and he's fired up. And every every time I, we've had a text or an exchange, it's like just all in saving America and exposing mm-hmm. the deep state. So there are so many people awake, so many good things going on. And that that's kind of my extended opening. Uh, all right. Here today. Are you ready for the first topic? Invasion. Five minutes on this. Invasion. Here we, we might go. even go quicker. Yep. All right. So changing America. Uh, one person at a time. <laughs> the, the, the landscape. <laughs> kind of the landscape of what we saw with Biden when he was talking about he was one to fundamentally change our country. Now what are they doing? Yep. Physically changing our country. It, it went, went from Barack Obama saying America needs to fundamentally change to they are truly physically changing it. Yep. And, and, and and here's the craziness. We're in a place, we're going to talk about our border, obviously, because it is no, no different than an invasion. Yep. When you have hundreds of of thousands of people coming across. And I think anybody that's like, well, you know, you have something against Mexicans and all this kind of stuff. I mean, we lived in Mexico. Exactly. That is a Mexican. Most of these people are not Mexican that are coming Even over. Even if they were, they the, need to the, do it the right way. The board, there's still a right way to do it. That's yeah. what we talked to Martin Hyde about. You know, he you know, had to take civics and classes and study and learn. And yeah. there's a, there's an assimilation process. You know, we adopted a son and he came into our family. You know what he had to do? He had to learn the way that our family worked mm-hmm. so that our family could still stay our family. There's a way that we did things. We ate dinner together. We got mm-hmm. up a certain, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a way that we operate as a family. He individually had to assimilate. So there was, there there's four of us. We added one and he adapted to that and said, okay, this is, if I want to be a part of this family, this is how we do, yep. you know, you finished with your dish, you put it in the dishwasher, you know, it's just like the way that we have all these little policies, way of doing things and functioning that made the family work. Um, we're currently in a place where you have to show your papers to go to dinner in if New York in New City. York. Mm-hmm. If you're in New York City, you're going to go out for a steak. We talked to Mel Kay the other night and, and uh, she's become a great friend, Mel Kay. She goes, she went to dinner. They asked for our, they asked for our papers to go into a restaurant that we've been going to for years. It's crazy. And you know Hard what, to believe. And, and, and you know what you have to do to cross our southern border? Nothing. Nothing. This this show Come up. Come on over. Yep. You don't have to get, you don't have to, there's no requirement. There's no bar. There's no bar. There is no like, hey, we want you on a fast track to be able to speak English. Mm-hmm. That would be considered a racist thing to say. It's like, well, part of the deal for our, our son and our family, we learned some Spanish and he learned some English. We kind of met in the middle and actually. He, did, he actually, he did way better than us. He's younger. <laughs> his, his mind is better than me. Our, our kids He's all like, spoke. I don't know if that's quite the middle. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that was the middle. middle. But our kids spoke great Spanish and, and I know all the nouns. Uh, <laughs> I'll make a caveman. Me, hungry, food, thank you. Yeah. You know, um, but communicating was a part for our family to work together. Yep, that's you, exactly right. It, and I, And what's interesting about this whole border crisis is that you're not seeing it on mainstream media, you know. Although Tucker always kind of comes out somehow, he kind of bobs and weaves and you know gets things out. Check out this clip from last night uh, because I think it's really eye-opening because you're not seen in most places. Check this out. Fox's Bill Malugin has watched this happen for months. He's on the border right now. We're happy to have him. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tucker, good evening to you. So look, for the past several months now, we've heard the Biden administration claim that 
progress, extreme progress has been made down here at the border, but that's just not squaring up with what we're seeing on the ground. We want to show you this remarkable drone video we shot today with our crew up in Del Rio. Take a look at this staggering footage. What you're looking at here is the International Bridge in Del Rio. We first showed this to you last night. Well, it has gotten significantly worse. What you're looking at is sources are telling me upwards of 10 thousand migrants waiting underneath that bridge right now after they crossed illegally into the United States. Why are they waiting there? Well, what I'm being told is Border Patrol holding facilities in the area are completely over capacity and Border Patrol agents are completely overwhelmed. There's just nowhere for these people to go right now. They're free to go. They're not being detained right now. They're just kind of holding themselves under this bridge, waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol. As you mentioned, Border Patrol sources are telling me most of these migrants are coming in from Haiti. There are also some from Cuba and Venezuela as well. But this is just a horrible situation down there, and our border agents need a lot of help. Consider yesterday morning, there were only 4,000 migrants under that bridge. Now I'm told it's well over 10,000. So in a span of just over 20 24 hours, those numbers have doubled and it's not getting any better. Those migrants keep streaming across. They just walk across the Rio Grande on a dam. They walk a dirt path and more and more are showing up to that bridge by the hour. It's getting worse by the day, literally by the hour. We want to point out something. We've been using our drone to show everybody these remarkable pictures. You can see the video we got on the ground from some sources who are leaking stuff to us as well. Um, we just learned that the FAA has put out a temporary flight restriction, a TFR, in the area immediately around the port of entry where that bridge is. What does that mean? It means our drone can no longer fly and show those images. It's a two-week TFR, and according to the FAA, it's for special security reasons. We've reached out to the FAA to get a little clarification on what the heck that means. The timing on this, the location a little bit curious. I just want to point out, Fox News has been at the border for the better part of seven months now. We've been using the drone the entire time. It's never been an issue. All of a sudden, the last 24 hours, we start showing these images at this bridge and a TFR goes up. We can no longer fly. When we get an update from the FAA, we'll be sure to let you know. But unfortunately for those agents on the ground, they're completely overwhelmed. They need some serious help right now. And hopefully they get it from the federal government. We'll send it back to you. Mm. That's the first time hearing of this, Bill. I sincerely, and I haven't talked to lawyers, but I sincerely hope our company will ignore the FAA. They have no right to shut down news gathering. They don't own the news. Sorry. Bill Mujan, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox. There we go. Man. Get out of here, Sean. We got stuff to do. <laughs> Only got five minutes. Hey, um, here, here's the deal. You, you're noticing a standard. If you're an American citizen, you have to show your papers to go eat a steak in, in New York. If, if you're not... If you found a way to get here from Haiti, which the, these people didn't just wander up from, from Haiti, it takes money. Yep. We're taking Haiti's best, best the people that have the resources they to escape, that, that have a way to get out, that have a way to escape and, and come over. It's not the way that is beneficial to our family with one right. or with, you know, we could, we could all do a little bit. But when the ratio gets so out of whack. It, it physically changes the demographics of our workforces of a town there. You have 20,000 now that those, those videos were actually dated because the FAA, here's, here's the pattern. I said the, the, the paperwork in New York and cross the border with nothing. They, they should, their security forces mm -hmm. are coming out against Fox News for showing the truth. They don't want us to know. They're not using the security to secure the border. Mm -hmm. they, they don't, they don't care about the security of that. They care about the security of of uh, Fox News not exposing what's really happened. The number of Haitians alone under that bridge now is up to 20,000. That's 20, not in, in their best interest. It's not in our country's best interest. No. It's not in their country's best interest. They're simply waiting for somebody to come along and arrest them and then release them. And, and they're going to get money and a free airline ticket and all of those things, you know, to somewhere else that's all taxpayer money. Eventually, you run out of other people's money with this that's kind true. of philosophy. That's exactly right. All right. You ready for the next one? Oh, we had 10 seconds. That's good. Ready with for the next 10 one? 10 seconds to spare. All right. Let's go on to homeschool. Homeschool. Yeah. All right. So with everything going on homeschool, in our country. Five. 
Yes, that's exactly. We did that with the kids when they were homeschooled. <laughs> Homeschool high five. So with everything going on in our country with CRT, sex education, we talked about library books uh, this week earlier. What you found in public school libraries, fourth graders, just pornography, pedophilia, you know, that we were seeing. With that going on, there's a major concern of what are we going to do for our kids if something doesn't change we have to do something for our I, own kids. I don't kids. know how in good conscience, honestly, just, I'm not, it is not judgment and some people don't have a choice, but. They're your kids. You, you, you almost got to exhaust everything possible to keep your children out of the public schools at this point. And I don't. The, the, with everything that's going on. The stuff on. we showed with, 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 with homosexual graphic sexual content for fourth graders and fourth grade books this week. That was in Texas. Mm -hmm. That was in Texas. This isn't like, well, I don't live in California, so it's not a problem. No. Texas. It's, it's in our flyover states. Texas. The Lee Summit, Missouri Library has a whole stack of, of geared towards young children, LGBTQ, pro information to help children to, to begin to figure out their identity at three, four, five, six years old. These are things that need to be done in, in, at, at home, and it's mm -hmm. being kicked into these places. So the schools have no longer become a safe place to send your kids. Now, that's out of sight, out of mind. I'll come back and get them at four. You know, and, and we get more questions. Yeah, this well, is a major well, concern. hospital protocol. Yeah. I, I got a loved one in the hospital. What, what can I do? Mm -hmm. We get that all the time. Yep. I mean, daily. And, and then the other one is is homeschooling what do I what I don't know how to do this I'm not qualified for this what do I do I'm not prepared and, and you know I mean that's something that that a lot of people are looking at we've had that experience in our past and it's intimidating to think how are we going to homeschool our kids you know you don't want to be going back to school later on or going to college or you know whatever trying to enter their workforce and you're like oh my gosh did these kids learn nothing what and, happened to this kid when they were in third grade? Like, oh, that's the year we homeschooled. That was the year I homeschooled. Ah. You know, and so with that, we actually had the opportunity uh, about probably a month or two months ago to interview Sam Sorbo. And Clay Clark uh, with Reawaken America Tour has actually come up with a course. It's going to be coming out very soon. Um, and it is teaching how to actually homeschool your kids. He's also working with April Moss, which we interviewed April Moss. She was a whistleblower from Michigan that worked at the TV station talking about um, how they had COVID protocols that were not uh, not correct. It kind of it went against her rights. And so she was a whistleblower, and she's actually a homeschool mom as well. So these homeschool conferences are going to be starting very soon. If you want more information about the homeschool conferences, what you need to do is text 918-851-0102. Again, it's 918-851-0102. 0102 text the word flyover and they will get back with you and give you more information about these events if you're wanting to know more these are going to start happening on a regular basis sam sorbo april moss are going to be teaching well, well, them clay is a great show. networker now yeah. they've they've homeschooled for years i don't know how many kids clay's got a gaggle he's every turn around kids. i can't know how many there are because they're moving around right you know he's got got a bunch we've homeschooled at different points in the process i think three different whole windows of, of time and, and really had and, great and used, experience and we used, used to, different curriculums yep. and different seasons and 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 learned and evolved and and, and grew the april moss is a boss homeschooler yep sam sorbo boss homeschooler yep. wrote an incredible book uh about it this last year so so these are these, what clay does good is is like hey you're great at this and you're great at this and you're great at this let's let's pull it together and and, and they're in their training we we're just talking with clay this morning and the reason we brought this up because they're going to be talking about you know how to finance it, how to supplement your income if yes. you're losing it, how to manage your day, mm -hmm. how to how to make this work in your life. So so you're thriving in every area of your life, not, you know, not, not well, t you're taking a hit. Mm -hmm. You actually can, th can thrive in this area as well. That's exactly right. Oh, we did good. See, we even beat the timer. Crushing we, we ran over on the open. So let's go ahead and move on to clown suit. the clown suit. Clown suit. You know, clown suit. It's probably going to be Biden coming up in this. You know, yep. it's probably going to be DeSantis. Biden I, I, is causing uh, the sick to suffer. That is just the deal. You know, we might spend a little bit more time on this because this is huge. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. You know, I don't know if you guys have heard, but it came out in Epic Times. And then DeSantis actually did a video uh, today. We have it on our Rumble channel. Let's go ahead and play that, Colton, and then we'll break down what's actually happening. Uh, we are very, very concerned uh, with the Biden administration and the HHS's recent abrupt, sudden announcement that they are going to dramatically cut the number of monoclonal antibodies uh, that are going to be sent 
to the state of Florida. Just last week, on September 9th, President Joe Biden said that his administration would be increasing shipments of monoclonal antibodies in September by 50 percent. And yet, on September 13th, HHS announced that it was seizing control of the monoclonal antibody supply and that it would control distribution. And then on September 14th, the announcement was more than 50 percent of the monoclonal antibodies uh, that had been used in Florida uh, were going to be reduced. So this is a dramatic reduction. And I'd say it's doubly problematic because what, what Shane Strom and folks in Tampa General and these other hospital systems that have been doing this, they're not getting it from the state. Uh, they, they get it. It's drawn down from it had been a Marisource Virgin. So they get that. Uh, and then when they need more, they request more, they do it. What the HHS and the Biden administration is now doing is they're saying that all of the reduced amount will go to the state, and we're responsible not only for sourcing our sites, which we're happy to do, but any infusion center, any provider, any hospital will have to come through the state. And to just spring this on us starting next week, we're going to have to do that. There's going to be a huge disruption, and patients are going to suffer as a result of this. And so we're going to work like hell uh, to make sure that we can overcome the obstacles uh, that HHS and the Biden administration are putting uh, in, in us. They say they're, they're cutting it because of equity. Well, look, the South has had higher prevalence uh, this summer. That will shift. And then as more states and other parts of regions need it, we understand that. But part of the reason we've used a lot is because I have made it a priority in the state of Florida. It had not been a priority at the federal government level for months and months and months. Perfect. That's yep. kind of where we were at with that. Um, okay. DeSantis, every time oh, something comes up, I'm like, oh, he, he stays so Florida calm. He's never defensive. Mm -hmm. He's always on the offense. Like, here's what we need to do. It's, it's like he goes to bed and I think, what can I do to serve the people of Florida better to keep them alive, to keep them healthy? You know, there was a uh, an article in Epic Times about this, and it said it's reducing in red states by 50 percent. It said Florida, Alabama, Texas, Tennessee are among the states targeted and restricted by the health and human services. That's the HHS that he was talking about. Now, there was actually just a part of that article that I thought was it really interesting. It said the Biden administration and their allies in media have claimed that Florida is using too much of the monoclonal whatever that name is, treatment because of low vaccination rate. Uh, and Biden has lashed out at Governor DeSantis for opposing the tyrannical federal uh, vaccine mandate. But Florida has a higher than average vaccination rate compared to other states. More than half the patients at some of the state's sites in Florida are fully vaccinated. They still need the antibody treatment to avoid hospitalization and death especially if they are in high risk groups. I just think that's really interesting that they did that because they're saying that Florida isn't vaccinated. So therefore they shouldn't get this treatment. Is that interesting? We just did that call uh, and had a testimony today about a friend that went to the hospital and they asked her, are you vaccinated? And she wasn't vaccinated. And it was quite interesting that they would not treat her. You know, she was like, I don't know if it was because I wasn't vaccinated, but that kept coming up. And they sent me home with COVID pneumonia with no treatment whatsoever. And and there doesn't seem to be a direct connection between uh, people that are vaccinated no. versus not. And they're, they're, uh, whether they're getting breakthrough cases or not. Right. You know, some of these countries we see coming out of Israel and ones that are a little bit ahead of us, there is no distinct advantage. 85% of the population in Israel is vaccinated and their hospital uh, hospitalization is so high. It's so bad that there are countries that are banning someone coming from Israel to there because they have such high rampant rates of, of, of COVID-19. And you see countries like India come out. I, know, I wouldn't even share this, but, but I'll be able to put it on Monday show. There's two states in India who've, who've adopted an ivermectin protocol in these two states. Mm -hmm. They're now at 0.001% cases in those states, statistically zero 
in the two states that implemented it. Now, yeah. India's going nationwide. You keep seeing these connections. It's the protocol that's more of a problem than anything else. And talk about the protocol. We do have Dr. Artis coming out tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Uh, you'll want to see that video. It's Dr. Artis talking about hospital protocols. Yep. He touches on what's going on. He even talked about China and the amount of deaths in China compared to the amount of deaths in the United China's States. China's doing pretty good. Using vitamin C. And uh, a lot of these hospitals, we have friends that they are not allowing uh, these patients to have vitamin C. Why would you keep vitamin C from people? It makes no sense whatsoever. And uh, it's just interesting how that's happening. So, um, so, so clown suit, De DeSantis just comes out and addresses the obvious. And he says, you know what? We're going to overcome this. Yeah. We're going to adjust. We're going to adapt. And we're going to keep thriving no matter what you try to throw at us, Biden. Yep. You know, and, and so... Um, I think that's kind of the theme for all of us. You can't sometimes control the things that are happening to you, but you can control the way that you respond to it. And uh, uh, these that's great why leaders are stepping up. Leaders are stepping up. Dr. Mark Sherwood, DeSantis. Yep. You know, Martin Hyde. You know, Rachel Ham. There's great things David going. David and Stacey Whited. <laughs> <laughs> Colton and Avery Whited. Everybody's great. just doing their part. You know, great things going on hey, across Governor, our, our country. Governor Parsons. Missouri, why don't you do your part? Yes. You, you, you could fix some things in Missouri right now. We have one county, Jackson County, that has a mask mandate because of Quentin Lucas. That is just ridiculous and it's crazy. If we had a governor with a spine, we could fix that that's literally exactly in right. one moment. That's instead exactly instead of one right. that's like, well, what do they want me to do? I don't want to lose my job, man. You yep. know, it's like, no. How about you have a spine? How about you show up? Why don't you watch some DeSantis videos this weekend and get yourself kind of fired up and, and learn how to govern properly? That is exactly right. Sorry to call you out, dude. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Because you know what frustrates me more <laughs> than anything? It's weak Republicans. Yes. Because you know better. You should do better. You know what frustrates me more than anything else? It's weak pastors. Mm -hmm. Because you should know better. You should have more courage. You should be so full of something that it overflows to you that you're you're able to do courageous things. Jesus would not be wearing a mask and he would not be getting the vaccine. He touched the lepers. He was not concerned about any of that. We walk in power and authority. He gave us that. When he went to hell, he took the keys of hell. He came back and he gave us authority and then he ascended to heaven. And he said, you want me to leave because I'm going to send the Holy Spirit and the things I've done, you are going to do greater than. So therefore, we are a victorious bride. We are to stand up. We are to declare. We are to walk in authority because yep. that's what we've been given. We have authority over this. We have no fear. We have faith over fear i'm not fearful of of a virus nope. i'm not fearful of the government i'm not fearful of joe biden i'm not fearful of whoever it is that's actually puppeteering joe biden mm -hmm. i'm not fearful of, of any of those things because you know what we have a higher truth we have a higher power we have a higher realization of what we are capable of and you know what it matters little what they do when we band together Exactly. And, and and the people who love America are saying, you know what? I'm going to put my flag out either way. I love this country. You know what? Freedom is better. I got a hat. My son and I both have this hat that says communism sucks. I mean, no, socialism, socialism sucks. Socialism sucks. It's, it's both. A, yeah, we should have both. <laughs> we have a hat that it's got the leather patch on it. It's kind of cool. It says socialism sucks. And, and you know what? I wear it often because I want to remind people yes. because sometimes they sort of drift off like, well, I guess that's kind of just the trend in the way things are going. It's like, no, no, we have a perfect system based on a constitution mm -hmm. matter of fact I just want to even another plan i'm going to get, you want a free download of the constitution if you don't have it for the weekend you want some good reading you can read it in less than an hour read text it us, text us 816-579-1144 we'll give you a free copy of the constitution download straight to your phone we don't even have the graphic ready but it doesn't matter i'm still going to tell you the number again one more time 615-579 no 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 no, 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 no. 816. Oh, 816-579-1144. The, <laughs> the letter G, F for General Flynn. We'll give you a copy of the Constitution. We have the answer to these things right here. And it's not in socialism. It's not in, hey, let's burn the whole thing down and, and build this 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 perfect yep. utopia, you know, based on, on spending someone else's money. No, we have a system based on everybody do their part. Everybody row a little bit. Everybody do something. Let's pitch in together and 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 uh, let's save America because this is worth saving. This has never happened before, and if we're gone, this probably won't happen again. And I'm believing that 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 we're in good shape because I believe that God's got a plan. He does. And there are so many brave Americans stepping up and That's saying, right. "You know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make my bed. 
I'm going to take care of my yard. And then if I got a lecture time, I'm going to help somebody else. That's and exactly that's right. the thinking that mm -hmm. gets it. Everybody wanted Donald Trump to do 80 million things. Here's the answer. 80 million of us doing one thing mm -hmm. to save our own country. Show up, be present. Even if you don't speak like a Martin Hyde and you go to the school board and you don't even talk, just be, be there. there. Show up. Be there. Be an intimidating force. We're matching shirts. Get together. It's, it's the unity towards good that outweighs the small, noisy minority that really want to try to take America down. And together, we are going to save America. That's exactly right. So we bless you. We bless you to have a great weekend. We bless you to wake up, speak up, and yes. show up. And we bless you to have this rod in your spine that makes a difference in your family, in your community, in your state, and in your country. Guys, Dr. Art is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning coming out. You want to watch that. Share it with everyone you know. Peace out. Have a great weekend. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Flyover Conservatives podcast with David and Stacey Whited. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave us a comment below. Lastly, if you enjoyed today's podcast, share with those who came to mind. Be blessed and make it a great day.